Hello everybody, welcome back to Hello. the channel. We are in Ghent, we decided on Ghent rather than Bruges, we've been to Bruges before. So we've just arrived and we're going to walk now off into the town centre and have something to eat. I might even partake in a little Belgian beer. Oh yes, oh yes. I think we should break, break away from the wine habit and yeah. come to a Belgian beer habit. Yeah, I just do love a bit of Belgian beer. So, we are parked in... Where do we park, Big? Car parking again. Uh, basically, I mean, it's not as illustrious as the last uh, free park or cultures. Yeah. I mean, you've seen on the previous video, were amazing. To be fair, this one's only €2 Euros for 24 hours. There's no services. But it is a park and ride. So if we're wanting to, we can get the bus into the city, or we can get the town, uh, the, the bus out of the city after a couple of Belgian beers. Um, so it's really making the city accessible. It's massive, actually. Yeah. There's already a couple of, well, there's a motorhome on here and a camper van on here. Um, and it's got good reviews as well. I can't remember what it's called, if I'm honest. Galveston, it says on yes, the park in Galveston. Yeah, it's at the park and ride Galveston, it's which on is the, um... on the edge of the city of Ghent. It's on Park for Nights Ave anyway, isn't it? I think it's a town or a city, to be honest with you. I don't know, has it got a cathedral? No oh, idea. Never been here. <laughs> it looks pretty big though. It looks nice though. Yeah, it looks nice so far. far. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, if, you, if you're ready for it, we'll go and get you a beer. Yeah. If not, let us know, we'll get you a lemonade. I think that's St. James's Church. And here is James. Not Hi. quite St. James. Hi. Occasionally St. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hello, how are they gone? Yay, we found the centre of sorts. And the cafe. Yeah. Which hopefully sells beer and food. But we're all very hungry. Oh, it looks like it's market day as well. Yeah, nice Saturday, yeah, yeah. I literally have no idea what day it is at the moment, any day. I just barely remember the month at the moment. Are there any kids over? No, no, there any kids actually. You're right. Are they heaven? I'm all going in there, but look at that behind there. That looks very medieval behind there, so we'll go and have a look at that in a minute. But first, First, it's food and beer time. Okay, so it's a lot busier here. Much busier. <laughs> than we've been over the last few days. I've seen more people in this square than we've seen in the last week. So we're in right in the centre of Ghent now, by the looks of it. Um, we've got the townhouse just through the trees there. We've got St Nick, we've got whatever that contraption is there, no idea. Um, doesn't fit with everything else, that's for sure. Uh, we've got what is the, the Belfry, just behind that actually. There's a helicopter hovering above us, so I have no idea what's going on. But it's hovering above. But there, look at this, wow. This is St Nicholas's Church. Absolutely magnificent that is. I mean, why, why put that amongst all this? That's, well, I don't know. But anyway, beautiful place here, beautiful. All I need to do now is go and find Leslie, James and Isa, because I've lost them. I can probably just find a local chocolate shop or a bar in there. I'm not sure they'll be in there. It's very medieval around here. Just look up there. So, there's goblins or witches on top of the building. That's not very medieval, no. I think that's St Nicholas's church. Not St Nicholas's, but St Nicholas rather. And there's the building opposite. Yeah. Go and have a closer look. Probably a nightclub or something like that. Wow. 
I'm not sure it used to be, but it's uh, a taco's place right now. What's over there? Oh, that's not the best thing ever. Oh dear. Bloody kids, I tell you what. He's just spotted on Dunkirk Beach. He's spotted in the medieval bloody town. Anyway, let's go to McDonald's. It's raining again. <laughs> it's pretty busy yeah. around here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, for me. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I, I'm quite, quite like the quiet countryside life. Um, I like to come to a town, but it's a bit full-on impact this was. But Les Leslie, full-on city girl, couldn't wait to get to a big area with lots of people. I mean, it just stood me head in. <laughs> but I, I know, but you know, I, I know, I like it, like a busy place, but. Yeah, we've been in really quiet places and this is just, just full on, full on uh, busy. But you love it, don't you? Yeah. I like the bus and bus over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. I wish they'd be in the same place. Yeah. How yeah. about you sit down the same? There's a canal now. Riverboats going on. Every single one of them going over a look, so probably can't see anything. Castle. I have to investigate that. Quite nice down here, but it's nice down here at night. Those are canoes, that. Good, isn't it, there? Rain's slowing down, thankfully. So we're back out walking. And that over there is the count, sorry, the castle of count. So we're going to have a visit, not this part, but Are we going just on over, the canoe? over there. We're going to go and have a look at it. No, we're going to have a canoe. There are no canoes down here. Come around the corner to see that. That's the castle of the count. Pretty magnificent. I'm not sure if it's a moat or I think it's a canal. Lots of canals around here. There you go, here comes the boat. Oh, this one's got a cover on it. Wimps. We're going to go in the castle there now. Looks like it's got an eviction notice on it to be fair from the local council. Now it's closed. Uh, so. Uh, we we'll have to find something else to do. Shame it's closed because it looks magnificent. Wow. Proper fairy tale, that is. Right. We finally found a bar. Yeah. Somebody needs beer. <laughs> Excuse me. Somebody's got the colour in and their ice creams. So yeah. they're happy. And they back. Me. We've got a lady, okay, we've got a lady amongst us. Okay, so, um, it's absolutely bedlam here. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to know which way to look. Whether you're looking for bikes, trams, cars, people just randomly stepping out in front of it. It's just mad. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what's that? It's beautiful though, isn't it? It is, it is. And when you stop being in it, it'll be a lot better. Yeah. It is beautiful, it's very medieval. Yeah, very medieval, very, uh, very nice. Uh, and in about three or four minutes time, when we've got a beer each, it'll be even nicer. <laughs> Somebody's happy, yeah. <laughs> Both of us, to be fair. <laughs> Like you can't get your wits caught your boots. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Around lots of canals and lots of ducks. Ian tried to jump in off the bridge. Cheers. I'll tell you what Les was talking about. You've got the tram here, which doesn't even look like a road, does it? It's full of pedestrians. There's flipping trams, bikes, cars coming from all down there. Then they're coming from up there. Then they're coming from up there. Then they're coming from down there. And it all looks like. Look, look. I've been in Mumbai. You literally, we've been to Mumbai and there's cars, things everywhere. And it's just the same here. You're going down what looks like a pedestrianised area. And there's cars, bikes, trams coming from all, all around you. All good fun. Everywhere we go today. I and mean, what do you think the main form of transport is in Ghent? Which is very close to the Dutch border with the Zeelandic Islands. This is outside the supermarket. This is, and they go round the corner and then over the other side as well. It is and in the town center, in between trams and cars, bikes are going. So, this is just outside the supermarket. I'm not sure how much shopping they're going to get back on these bikes. But uh, some have got baskets, some haven't. But there's a lot of bikes. Morning. Welcome back to the channel. Enjoy us as we seem to be stuck on a car park. <laughs> no attendance around. Pay for parking. And the scan hasn't come out. The scan ticket hasn't come out, so we can't go off a car park. We can't go and just get a new ticket from the barrier because it's all done on a scan so it knows there's a vehicle there it's Sunday so there's nobody around ticket never came off and we can speak German and French and Spanish and English but we can't speak Dutch which is what they speak here <laughs> okay um so we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> when the attendant comes Dear. There's not even any buttons to press on the machines for assistance. What's that? That's just like that. Like yeah. We can see a ticket blown in there, but we don't think that's ours because Leslie said there was nothing that okay, came. Pay ten out. euros. Can pay ten euros for a lost ticket. Yeah, do it. What does this mean? Yeah, I mean yes. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. It's precious. Thank God. Uh, yeah, it looks like a I'll video this in case, uh, in case it doesn't happen again and we can say to them, listen, it's wife. Yeah, I can get in English over there. Hold on tight, it's windy. Okay, we might have escaped. There's nothing on there. A two euro car parked turned into a 12 euro car park. And really no sleep. No sleep because, because it was music playing and all night. Because we chose a Saturday night to park on a tar car park in the city centre. by what would be flagpoles and the little chain just banging against the metal. <laughs> oh, 12 euros for no sleep. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, we're out. <laughs> Should we just go? Oh. Should we just go? I'm, I'm done with Ghent. Yeah. Just go We're not going around Ghent a second time no. because we just don't like it. No, <laughs> no, that's not true. We do. It's just we, we did it yesterday. I don't. <laughs> and the whole point was that we were going to go early this morning, but the sun was decided to go down and we wanted to get work done. Well, you know. And um, trips don't, trip don't come for free. No, no. But we had done already decided what we were going to do. Yeah. And as per usual, you decided the opposite. Well, we better go because there's going to be a line of cars parking behind us. So, what are we going to do? Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of Dodge. Okay, so where are we, babe? Yes. James needs you some chocolate. Um, we did promise him yesterday. Yeah, we promised him. We chocolate. Chocolate's here. We also promised him a couple of hours peace and quiet. Yeah, so. No. We're sacrificing ourselves for our son. Yeah.
Yeah. Might, might get some chocolate as well. Um, um, so we're in Ghent. It's actually a bit more peaceful. It's very windy, you can probably hear. Uh, there are some weather warnings for wind around here today. Um, but it's definitely calmer than it was yesterday. So we'll give it a couple of hours as a second uh, chance. Chocolate always goes down well. Chocolate always cheers the mood up. <laughs> so uh, let's give Ghent another try, hey. So we're just saying now, again, it's about kids interacting with each other. Two girls, they're not talking to each other, but they're interacting with each other with the bubbles. And it's just amazing how kind of, especially the younger kids, just make friends together. You know, and play. <laughs> She loves these pink even more. Champagne? Okay, Ghent was all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a lot calmer today, I think, with it being a Sunday and the girl in the chocolate shop did say that it would be particularly busy yesterday. Hey. That wasn't the norm. Mom. Yeah? We can do it Okay, yeah. thanks. Issa's getting in on the uh, video in as well. So we, we just... We will, Issa. Okay, babe. So we're just leaving Ghent. We're heading off to the Netherlands to... Maastricht. Maastricht, yeah. which is just on like a little tiny bottom bit of the Netherlands and um, we're going to park up there tonight and then go and explore that town tomorrow so see let's, the see. Netherlands. Yeah, let's see what it's like hey everybody so we've made it to the Netherlands uh, where are we over there somewhere is it sorry but it's can't even see us yeah oh, there, there we are there okay and we right outside Maastricht FC football what? stadium. Uh, we're playing the Netherlands League. I can't remember what the Netherlands League's called. What is it called? Um, Eredivisie. Eredivisie. Easy for him to say. Visie. V A C. Eredivisie. In the Eredivisie League. So it's Maastricht, and you get a free park up. Yeah. Uh, free for 48 hours at the football ground here. Uh, we've already checked. There are no fixtures, so we're not going to be bombarded by uh, fans. I've already checked. 3rd of May is their next game. Yeah, I'll check so, so that's where we're staying. We've just had a quick look in the stadium through the uh, through the lock gates. Um, me, James, and Issa taking Bella out for a walk mm -hmm. while well, Leslie does some tea. It's just sunny in the Netherlands, Extremely and this is this is what we need to keep it like. <laughs> if it stays sunny in the Netherlands, we're staying in the Netherlands. So we're going to go and see Leslie and uh, take the dog for a we'll walk. Actually, and then uh, we'll catch you soon. Morning, everybody. We going shopping. Hey, everybody. We had a fantastic night's sleep. Who have thought this? We'd have been travelling around Europe, living on car parks, then we had a fantastic night. So, me and Issa are going to uh, try and find Aldi. Uh, Leslie has got a personal training session, hey. online personal training session. Stop. Uh, um, so that's what she, James is doing some school work. Oh, What's my darling? Anyway, uh, so Leslie has got a personal training session online. So if anybody's interested, uh, just uh, give us a shout. And she'll show you, tell you what she does. But uh, so me and Lisa are off in the glorious 
glorious sun of Maastricht um, to uh, I think it's 18 degrees at the moment. That's absolutely gorgeous. So we're off to do uh, do some shopping, come back, and then when we get back, Leslie will finish the session, and we'll uh, go in a tunnel now, and then we'll be uh, off out investigating Maastricht. Do you need, sir? Hot scotch. Well, we found the shop, but look what we found first. Double decker trains. Now, these trains, I've been on them before. They're literally like with the hotels inside the seating area. They're fantastic. But we're not going on that today because we think, yes, there it is. We found Aldi. Have we found it, Issa? Aldi. Yeah. No. So we got the shopping sorted, didn't we? Yeah. And we got lots of nice things. Yeah. Including actual food that we can have for yeah. dinners and teas Just and breakfast. As well. And we're going to walk now, are we? Yeah, as Turn, well. Show everybody your bag. Your bag. And he's just carrying a lot as well. So we're going to go back to the motor home now. And we're going to eat some lovely food. And, and hopefully... A and a drink, yes. We've got and some drinks. some drinks. We've got some healthy water, didn't we? Yeah, healthy, healthy stuff and some water helping yeah water. so we're gonna go back and see if leslie approves there's no wine so we're on a downer already bye <laughs> so we're back at the motor home back from the motor home and it's in my eyes sun's in your eyes so Issa's just walked two miles to the shop walked around the shops uh got some shopping in her backpack and she's walked two miles back. She hasn't moaned once. She's just talked all the way about the things she's been seeing, the things she's been doing so far. We've looked at different things and discussed the way things work that we've seen on the way. Looked at different words and if I've understood it, kind of explained it. So school all the way, fun all the way, exercise all the way, back home for some uh, food and drink. We just got back to the motor home and we've also had some news while we're away. What's the news, James? Got my geography test back. Yeah. And I did very well on this and I got 82%. Brilliant. So he has assignments, which are like tests, um, every so often, just to see how he's doing with his learning, because it's all distant learning, um, all self-led learning. So 82%? Yeah. Good lad. So All right. Much better than get look, on the first two assignments. I mm -hmm. kept on getting it in sixties and seventies, mm -hmm. yeah. and so I wanted more. Yeah. Which is a definite. Yeah. And so I'm happy I've actually got over seventy. Yeah, that's it. So we've done well. So yeah, it proves he is listening. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> no, no, it proves you are well done. Yeah. So we'll get off your back now. Thank you. For about ten seconds. Oh. <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah. So. James is back at the motorhome and we're going to go off for a walk into Maastricht. Now you need to pretend that you don't know I'd shot this video after we'd been in Maastricht because we totally forgot to do a video that says we're going to Maastricht. So back to suit. So we're doing it. We're, yeah, we're going, we're going to Maastricht now. We're going to the... You want, you want, do you want the camera to do you? Yeah. I'm going to now. Um... To the home. We're going to the motor home. We're not. We're not. We're going to Maastricht now. <laughs> um, we're going to Ostrich now. Ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> Maastricht. <laughs> no, Ostrich. <laughs> Maastricht. Hey, that's close enough. <laughs> Bye. Now, um, we're going to museum now. <laughs> Okay. Kids. Thank you. 
So we're on the river, we're on the bridge, going over the river Maz. Maz, sorry. Boat over there. And we're going over, I think, into the old centre of uh, Maastricht. So uh, we'll have a look, see what's about, shall we? There's a town hall, bells are chiming. Looks like they start chiming just before the real don, because it's 29 minutes past. Maybe not. <laughs> yes. So this is one of the squares in uh, Maastricht, and that was the town hall. And we are off to find ice cream. Great ice cream. What flavour is it? Smurfing. <laughs> Banana, I think, isn't it? Banana. Um. So we're in Maastricht's other square, and you've heard of football fan kind of centres, fan parks when the football's on. This is how into politics they are here. They've actually got a watch party for a political debate. Uh, everything all out, beer tents out in there, everything like that. I mean, this was the place, the birthplace of the Euro. Uh, not the Euro football, but the Euro coin. 1992 is when they signed the uh, Maastricht Treaty to change all of Europe, except for the UK, because we're not in Europe, um, to, um, to the Euro. We stood firm, stayed with our pound, which then plummeted. But um, you can see how much they are into, uh, into politics here, to have a, a fan par fan park for a political debate. Oh, there's some dignitaries over there. You recognise them? No, nor me. But they are by a fantastic looking gothic old church there. That's probably the cathedral to the fair. That's magnificent that. We'll, have a, we'll go and have a look at that. So we're, we've made it to a bar. East is up over ice cream. Now this bar's actually got a view of what is up to call around here the Basilica um, and that's where the, uh, the watch party is going on for politics. We think it must be Bank Holiday Monday, haven't it? And a message for friends and friends. Yeah. Dutch, so she probably knows. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but Leslie's friend's Dutch, so she's going to message you and find out what the hell's going on. Hi, Fee. <laughs> Hello, Fee. <laughs> on a Monday uh, in Netherlands, which we so busy. Hi, guys, Fee. Hey, Fee. <laughs> Okay, so it is every bar is packed. Monday, I know it's Dutch are liberal, but Monday afternoon and the bars are packed. Then, you might have found our country. We have found, we've no more van life, we're looking for a house in this particular So we've situation. just found out, it's um, school holidays, so everybody's out on the beer. We're loving this place. <laughs> you know, he says, sun's out, schools are off, uh, kids are off school for the first day of their school holidays. So, um, when well in Rome? When well in Rome, yeah. Bring our kids out and uh, take a beer with them. It's only fair. So, we were just saying now, what a beautiful city. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous, isn't it? It's like a typical European town, isn't it? Yeah. Little streets, cobbled streets. Yeah. Loads of little pastries and um, loads of restaurants and bars. But it's Monday afternoon, and they're packed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that that's ice cream and not the poo that's just landed on my hand. That's both different ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Same colour. <laughs> Lick it and find out. Let's <laughs> have a taste test. Is it bird poo or is it ice cream? Lick it, isn't it? That is warm. <laughs> So, I reckon it was ice cream, but she, she didn't do the taste test. <laughs> yeah, I like it. No, you're right. <laughs> um, that's really... Is it ice cream or is it... Yeah, it can. Did it jump out of there? <laughs> is it alive? No. Mm. no. Could have been bird food. Could have been ice cream. Who knows? <laughs> so anyway, anyway. Anyway, I'm sure it was beautiful bird poo because it is a beautiful city. It's ice cream. <laughs> just it's want to taste, just want to taste <laughs> it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's 
sniff my hand. <laughs> so, as we were saying before, Poogate. <laughs> it's a very, very artisan, um, very unique and independent kind of fashion. And uh, yes, darling, what do you want? What kind of city. Um, why was I was talking again? <laughs> She's a coke, not beer. Am I going the wrong way? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't going the wrong way, I was just going my way. Okay, so... Which, as we found out in the previous video, is wrong. Oh, my word. Do a thumbs up. Yeah. Do a video. Do it like the seven-year-old says, or six if you're going into Passendale Museum. Do a thumbs up. Do a thumbs up. Do a thumbs up. Yeah. Well done, like you self-promotion guitar. Do a video. Do a video. And thumbs up. <laughs> That's it. You heard her. Get it sorted. <laughs> so we've got some information for you as well about Maastricht. Now, um, Maastricht has a population of 121,000. Okay, so it's also got 1,677 heritage sites. But what's even more crazy is in the city alone, it's got 400, 400 bars. Now, 400 of those bars, we've walked past probably, how many, babe? 60 70. Probably, probably 60 to 70 of them just. How many were empty? None. Oh, Every single one of them full. So, and it's Monday afternoon. Yeah. So, we reckon the Maastrichtians love to drink. Uh, yeah, love to drink. <laughs> because there's enough opportunity here, and every every bar and restaurant was packed. Do you know what I was told? Bye, Fee. Hi, Fee. Hi, Fee. How good. Hang on. Then I was surprised. How good the. Um, to look after the elderly and how the, the nursing homes and residential homes and stuff like that that the elderly go into are fantastic and you can see why aren't you because the taxes must be really high mm. and then they go on to look after the elderly which is how it should be yeah just a little diversion off here that's what I've been brought to you I thought you were going somewhere there look after them so they can go and get drunk because it was so expensive for those two drinks yeah it was yeah it all ties in it's all going on in my head 8 euros for 500 centiliters which is not even a pint and it was a bit more than the normal percentage that we can have, as you can tell. Yeah, to be fair, you only need three on a night out instead of six, so you kind of save in money anyway. Yeah. And if you're from London, you're going, eight euros, that's dirt cheap. <laughs> Where we're from, that's bloody expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place. Um, yeah. It's certainly helped by the fact there's 400 bars here. <laughs> Six, seven, maybe eight miles today she's done. I still want to go on a scooter. Oh, to have the energy of a seven year old. There we are. Look who we found on our journeys. James and Bella. Hello, Bella. Hello. Hello, hello Bella. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Right, mate. Yeah. Come on, let's go this way, Anissa. Why? Well, you can go which way you want. Which way do you want to go? Go on then. To the park. To the park. Go on then. Go! The oh, park. just having a walk and I've been shouted. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Probably won't see you on the phone. But... Yeah, you will. It's a nice little person. A heron? Is it? A crane. Crane or a heron? Crane. Can you see yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. So our park off, we've just walked down this road uh, just there and our park off just behind those trees. Where is it? 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 Where
and goodbye. Um, we've just finished this leg of the journey, which was arriving in France, going across Belgium and into the Netherlands. The next part of the journey is to travel from Maastricht to Berlin. Now that's a long journey, it's across uh, Germany. Um, so it's, I think it's about 450 miles, which we're not doing in one go. Um, we probably be going to do it over between five and eh, maybe eight days, just break the journeys down a little bit. So that's where we're heading. Um, we're not probably going to stay in many cities on the way, but we'll probably stay in Hanover. Uh, we've got a Leverkusen for the football ground for James. Um, other than that, we're probably going to stay off grid quite a lot. Um, just for wild, <laughs> for wild in the country with snakes in the grass. <laughs> Are pretty Some dangerous. of us are already wild with the hair. Yeah, I haven't even done mine this morning. Yours look, look, looks amazing. Um, so, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't liked, comment, and subscribed, start with a subscription. That'd be amazing. And do some likes and comments. That'd be wonderful. Really keeps us going. Um, we're really enjoying doing these, to be fair. Um, it's great for the kids. Um, and. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. So we'll see you on the way to Berlin. <laughs>